Here we go, another day, another dollar, and I'm back on the road, road trip, with that man they call Guy. First thing I want to do is thank everybody who's been subscribing and making comments below. Some people have said, I can't miss an episode. Don't blame you. So from the bottom of the art, thank you. It means a lot, honestly. I'm meeting the man, the legend, the myth. He's not a myth, it's just Guy. I'm going on a journey. We've got about a three and a half hour journey. Don't worry, I ain't gonna film it all. We're playing a wedding for a lot of Italians in a barn that they've rented. Doesn't sound dodgy at all, does it? So just so you know, five fingers on each hand. Let's just hope I return with them all too. Not only terrible weather and terrible traffic on the M25. The fucking Pet Shop Boys on Radio 2. Oh, that, his voice is so dull. Coming on. Weighing it down, but it's also very muggy. He looked at you funny. I like the way you just nodded at the bike. Oh, come on, I think he knows that I appreciate the fact that he's actually getting soaked. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hang on, I've got to film that. You know when you're having a bad day, when your roof breaks on your car. <laughs> Sorry. He's got his roof down. He's got his roof down. He is an idiot. Oh God, it's so bloody warm. It's lovely, isn't it? The thing is, we'd open the windows, but uh, they let all the rain in. It's all right, because we've only got almost two hours left of driving. There we go, plane. Where are we? Oh, Heathrow. The M25 is always, always bad, as we always know, but add the combination of rain to it. They do become really stupid driving in traffic like this. What is it about a bit of rain that stops people driving sensibly, normally? Everything's sticking to everything in here. We're not made for this weather. Absolutely not. Air conditioning? It's cozy. It's not cozy. It's oh yeah, I've got aircon. It's sticky. What are you telling me that? Does it work? Yeah, there you go. I'll tell you what. Put the aircon on that I've just remembered I've got. Oh, fuck's sake. Nice bit of aircon. Can you feel it? Wow, this is lovely. It's this like, is delightful. It's like start of the journey again. If I'd have questioned it two hours ago, yeah. we might have put it on. Might have gone, oh, here you go. Oh, yeah. The fuel's running right now, then, but... Oh, you're joking. Well, that's such an unfortunate place to break down. We're uh, doing a gig in Canterbury. Canterbury, Canterbury Tales. And apparently... Of Chaucer. He's marrying an Italian guy. We know him, he's, he's, he's known us for a few he's years. He's marrying an, an Italian girl. I haven't had a lot of sleep. It's an Italian girl, but apparently he thinks may have something to do with a certain family. It's like talking to a to a cockney, because every cockney apparently knew the craze. I knew the craze. Did you? Did you know the craze? That means I'm from the West Midlands, so I knew we know Noddy Old. Well, I do know Noddy Old. You do know Noddy yeah, Old. That's, that's really true. Well, that's, that's okay, just... is it? No, I was going to say, I'll bet Jasper Carrot. So Jasper Carrot, look. I'm not, I'm you're losing around. the argument here. I've been trying to rack my brain what we can't say, just in case we end up with a horse's head in a bed. We do have a problem. Not a lot of them speak mm. English, and they've flown over from Italy. A majority of them, they won't get the gags. It'll be lost in transaction. Yeah. Translation? A transaction would, wouldn't make any sense. Well, he's paying for us, so it is, lost in, it is lost in tracks, aren't you? So what we're saying is we could be going to do a gig now for some gang members. All my impressions are going to go. I was going to do my Marlon Brando stuff from Godfather. I was going to do my uh, Al Pacino's. So all that's gone kind of crappy. So the only thing I could think about now, Dean Martin, I guess. Don't do Dean it's, Martin. It's, what's the matter, you? Hey, God. What are you doing? Why are you looking so sad? He's so bad. Shut up, your face. Is he Spanish? We were due there at around half four. It's now saying that we're due there at uh, 25, 25 to, six. to six. We are stuck on the M25, which means we might end up in there at six o'clock. I left my house at midday today, and it's now 
quarter to four. People say, oh, you do charge a lot of money to go to your gigs, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Why are you so angry? Because oh, I'm, I'm You've been bloody angry. warm. Yeah, I've got the aircon on. You've been angry since you got in the car. Moaning at everyone. Look at your, gr you look like, uh, what's his face, the chef now? Gordon Ramsay. Oh, I thought you were going to say uh, the Swedish one for the Muppets. <laughs> I just didn't see the f If you want me to be Gordon Ramsay. It's all right, I can beep it out. All right, go yourself. How's that? Face. You know. Off. You left the house at 12, that's six hours ago. So we've been on the road probably five hours, maybe just over. We've still got 36 minutes to go and still we're in traffic that isn't letting us move very fast at all. On the plus side, it's it's sunny now. Put my glasses on. Utter shit. We could have got to Newcastle, set up and done half a show by now. We have contacted you, Seth. Who knows we're behind. There's an overwhelming smell of shit as well, Radid. Have you not? Oh, God. Is that you? And it's always just a queue after next junction. By the time we get there and set up, it'll be time for us to play. No hanging around? No hanging around. So that means no food, because we can't eat. No, no, no. There's always time for food. We're getting off in a minute. 29 miles left. Hey. Come on! After almost six hours, we finally got here, and I gotta say, it's the most amazing, beautiful place. They've even got horses. They're having some entertainment over there, and Guy is already scoffing his fact. What are you eating? And salmon. I'm not sure where Yusuf is, but they've been celebrating, and you can tell, can't you? I think that's salad. Oh, but I have found the garlic bread. What chance of him turning up with food about, huh? <laughs> well, I think it's all me. Like I said, should we go and see Yusuf? I'm still eating all the food. She's going to do a little quick toot on the flute. That's the who's, important who's, who's man. He got married. Who's, who's this woman? Who's that? Is she going to do she? She's doing a toot on the flute? Hey, you know, it's my wedding. Who is she? <laughs> it's, it's your wedding. You're in charge. I'm I tell you what. I know. That's love, that is. We're very excited. We're still setting up, so we better go and do that, haven't we, I suppose? Layla's doing a quick... Uh, toot on the flute. A toot on the flute. Doing a toot on the flute. We've set up some of it. We've now got to sound check some of the gear. It makes it difficult <laughs> when this sort of part is going on. It may have taken us six hours to get here, but it's worth it. <laughs> Yusef, who's getting married, he doesn't talk Italian. Non è non è ancora crescutito. Giorno. Non li abbiamo ancora vissuti. Chevori Derti di Pio Bello. Mi amore. Molto bene, mi piace. It's a little bit unusual compared to what we're used to, and now it's her turn. The most beautiful of the sea is the one that we didn't say. The mm, most beautiful of our days, we haven't lived them yet. Yes, I've eaten loads. But we finished the night. It's been an amazing night. It's been really good fun. All the gear. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. It's been so good. Oh, she was lovely. She's lovely. Stop talking. And lovely. Talk, you? It's unbelievable, isn't it? So we're just about to leave. And this is amazing. Is that really for us? Of course it is. It's a very special day. We all got emotional. Yeah, very. Song. You, you know it? No. Don't know it. 
Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, thank because you. you decided to go, they decided to make another group. Well, another I know, I've band. noticed. They're much better than us. <laughs> <Look at> that. <laughs> right. Okay, that's going on my lap then. He's not going to carry it because we're going to eat it. Oh, we're going to eat that. Thank you so much. That's fine. That's yeah, so okay. kind. Yeah. It's my new friend. You might recognise him from Channel 4. Yeah! Oh, yeah! What, what you want? What you want? What's happening on Channel 4? Uh, but do you love to do the sex thing? What sex thing? And some tags about the naughty oh, thing. Text, 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 text. I love to do that. I'm a naughty boy. If you want to get in touch with him, you can leave a comment on the YouTube channel below. Every time. I'm scared now, I'm scared. I've got, I've got to go. And did you think the gig went? It was one of those gigs where I wasn't sure, but I enjoyed it. It was a different culture. It, was. it wasn't your average wedding. They didn't have the usual stuff going on. And the location, we can't argue with that. That made us a little, little snack. Oh, a little snack for the way home. Something like of fruit. All this stuff! And I'll tell you what, that's like the best in-flight meal I have ever seen. I'm going to have this area here. You can have that grape. Uh, you do realise that you're going to have to feed me. Do you like chorizo? No. Shall I have a bit? What's wrong with chorizo, Sean? Get that in you. Oh! Giant little tomatoes. Quickly. Do you want meat or cheese? Granary! Get off! They've got a pickle on it. Pickle! -y. That is beautiful. Smart of it. No, get off, you dirty pervert. Guy's actually feeding me. More chorizo? No. Are ready? <sighs> oh, no, it's too stink of shit. Chorizo! Alright, that way, we're gonna eat dinner. See you later. Nom, nom, nom. We could have got to Glasgow.